Hey everyone, welcome to Coding with Captain. Today it is on Monday and this is a pre-recorded show. So I am going to um, record this show. That's what pre-recorded show means. And I will upload it to YouTube. It will be on at one o'clock. So if you're watching this right now, it must be one o'clock. Happy one o'clock future students. Um, so we're gonna do some coding today. And uh, I will be back tomorrow at one o'clock live for Pirate Science, where we have um, a new little experiment that we ran in school and that you can set up and run at home. And I wanna see how you guys do at home with that. So that is tomorrow at one o'clock today. Coding though. So let's get right into it. We're gonna do two things today. We're going to have a little bit of a beginner lesson and um, then we're going to have, uh, so the beginner lesson we're going to do, we're going to make a um, question and answer, like a quiz show app. It's a lot of fun. And then two, uh, we're gonna have an advanced lesson and that we're going to talk about um, uh, coding up some, some apps that work with uh, the video game controller, the answer, build your own video game controller. So that'll be a lot of fun too. Okay, so let's get into it. We're gonna go to uh, mrincorvia.com. Here we are on mrincorvia.com. Um, and here is the links you probably clicked on. You'll see that some of these have shuffled around. But today we're gonna click on the big blue button code. And here you see, I've added a new um, link over here. Here is the scratch. This will take you right to Scratch where you can log in and start coding. But I wanna show you here is Scratch examples. So when you click on this, here are um, all of the different things. So we have examples, see, yes, um, here's like the feeding cookie monster. We made that video last time, right? So when you click on this, here it, it takes you right to the project and you can press spacebar. Um, um. To, um, <laughs> to feed the cookie monster. So if you wanna see this app, try it out. If you want to um, uh, see inside, you can click and see the code inside. So that is a, um, that's right there. So the things that we've done in the previous weeks, here are all the examples you can click on. Also over here, here are the coding with Captain videos. So you can look at all the different ones. Here's drawing sprites and remixing Micah's app. That's the one where we actually, um, that's the one where we coded the cookie mon feed the cookie monster app. So uh, you can follow along here and here are all the blocks. So I just wanted to show you that that is this button right here, scratch examples, a super useful place. If ever you're, if you wanna code something or just mess around with blocks or just play some of the games that we have written together, this is the place to do it right here. Okay, let's click on scratch right here and let's get going. Okay, so first we're gonna have our little beginner lesson today where we are going to ask, we're gonna have a some ask question blocks. So here is our, our cat, we can do this with any sprite. So if you want to use cat, cool, I'm gonna use cat today. No, no, I'm gonna pick a new sprite. You can use cat, you can start building the blocks right here, but I'm gonna just, I'm gonna click this little trash can button in front of the cat right here. Click this button and boop, cat goes away. So now we do need a sprite. See, there's no sprites in our sprite window. So let's add a new sprite. I'm gonna click this choose sprite button. And let's see, I'm going to pick, um, I'm gonna pick this dinosaur, look at this guy. Okay, so this is gonna be our, oh, he's kind of pixelated. I don't like that. Let's pick another sprite. I think there was another dinosaur. Here's another dinosaur. Oh yeah, this guy's cool. Now, do you remember how we can change his costumes? Remember how we change sprites costumes? First, you can look around. Where do you see the word costumes? It starts with a C. It is in the upper left corner here. 
costumes. So you can click on this. And remember, we, we did the drawing app. I like this one because it looks like he's singing. So let's just pick of these different costumes. I'm going to pick this one for him. Now, let's go back to code up here. Now here are all of our blocks, OK? So we are going to do a, um, a quiz show app, OK? So that's where our dinosaur is going to ask us questions, OK? He's going to ask us questions. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to start with uh, a, we're going to click on this events. And we're going to grab this when green flag clicked. OK, now go find this block. If you ever need to pause the video and then you go find the um, the block, you can do that now. OK, so we're going to find the when green flag clicked. This green flag is this green flag. See up here, we got green flag and we got click. This green flag means go. So when we click go, it's the start of the app. So we put any blocks down here that we want to run the moment we start the app. OK? And we are going to go to sensing, and we, which is this light blue. And we're going to grab the ask a question. OK? Ask a question. We're going to pop that right in there. Now, if we click, it, right now the block says, ask, what's your name? Question mark and wait. So if we click the green flag, which it says when green flag clicked, it's going to ask, what's your name? Now, who's going to do the asking? Who's going to have, do the asking? The dinosaur is going to do the asking because the block is under the dinosaur. OK, so here we go. We're going to click the green flag. Now see, it pops up, what is your name? And because this is a question block, it's waiting for an answer. So I can type in my, my I can type in captain here. Captain. Now if I click OK, nothing happens because we haven't told it to do anything yet. OK? So we need to put a question block in here. So, um, what we can do, we'll go to the purple looks, and we're going to grab the say hello for two seconds. OK? So let's see here. All right, so say hello. Now we're going to go to the operator, so the green blocks green blocks and you're going to grab this join okay and now it says join apple banana so what happens if we put this in here what's so what does the say block do the say block just makes him say something okay so if we click the green flag he's going to say hello for two seconds watch hello okay we do it again click it again Hello. All right, now if we put this join block here, this join block says apple banana. It smushes together two things, joins them together. So if we put this say, this join block right into hello, now it's going to say join apple banana for two seconds. So let's see what happens when we click that. Apple banana. Apple banana. <laughs> okay? So what we want to do, though, is we want him to reply. We want him to say, well, after we type in our name, we want him to say, hello, Captain. All right? So we're going to have him ask us first what our name is, right? Green flag, what is your name? Captain. OK, but nothing happens. So let's grab this say. Uh, join Apple Banana for two seconds. Let's do the whole thing now. Ready? Click. What's your name? I'm going to type in Captain. Now he's going to say Apple Banana. 
Now, instead of saying apple banana, we want him to use the answer we typed in there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change apple to hello. All right, now when we run the app, he says, what is your name? I type in captain, and then I, pr and then I press the little check box here, and he says, hello, banana. Now that's not what we want. <laughs> My name is not Banana, right? My name is Captain. So how do we change this to Captain? Now I can just change Banana to Captain and I say, what is your name? And I say, Captain. And he says, hello, Captain. But what if your name is not Captain? What if your name is Ruby? what is your name and i type in ruby and then he says hello captain that's wrong my name is my name was ruby so how do we fix this so let's go to sensing again the light blue and we're going to grab this answer block right here okay this answer block this answer block is going to change no matter it's this answer block equals whatever the answer we gave to this last question. So we ask, what is your name and wait? So we can take this and we can put it inside here. So now it's gonna say, hello, answer, but it's not gonna say answer. It's going to, the answer is gonna be whatever you typed in here. So click the green flag. When green flag clicked, ask, what's your name and wait? So let's type in my name this time. Uh, we'll try Captain. Now, when we press the check mark, it's gonna say, say hello, whatever we typed for two seconds. Ready? Hello, Captain. Let's try it again. Let's say your name is Jack. Hello, Jack. Let's say your name is, um, you know, uh, Bree. Bree is the name of my pug. <laughs> What's your name? Bree. Hello, Bree. All right. So here, by doing this, we can we can start having a conversation with the dinosaur. Okay. You know what? I think this is going to be enough today. Um, we'll continue with, we'll make a quiz show out of this. But for now, what I want you to do is work with these one, two, three, four, five blocks. Work with these five blocks right here. Make your dinosaur or chicken or cat or spaceship, whatever you picked. I want you to um, make him ask your name. My name is Mech. Hello, Mac. All right. And have him answer back to you. Okay. So that is our beginner lesson for today is um, how to get an ask block to work. All right. So I'm going to leave this up for three seconds. So you can take a good look at those. Um, pause the video right now. So that way you can keep the blocks up on the screen while you build them, okay? Pause. <laughs> okay, let's get building on the more advanced thing. All right, so advanced lesson. Let me close this one. Um, okay, under at mrincorvia.com, there are, uh, let's go back to the front page here. Under games, we have build your own video con game controller games. So um, we built our own video game controllers. You know what, my, my old model is at school. Let me grab, let me show you here the progression. Okay, 
So, you know, I should, uh, next time we talk about this, I will bring home uh, the box controllers we built. But for now, this will do. Okay, so. The first video game controllers we built, built something like that looks like this. This is the digital piano uh, that we built. I don't actually have a prototype of the video game controller, but it's the same idea. Lots of buttons, right? You press them and it makes the computer move your sprite around, okay? Um, now what we did was instead of using this breadboard and the Arduino, we actually thread them through cardboard boxes to make um, make the video game controller. And this is the second version of it. This is the wires. This is uh, on a prefab board and I soldered everything together. Um, I used these wires to run all the connection together and this is our second version of the controller. And then this is the third version of the controller. I made this PCB, um, this circuit board, all right? You see it says Pirate Controller on there, and then I have the Pirate Science logo. This is where you put the little computer, here's where all the buttons go, right? And now here is one finished. I soldered all the pieces on. There's actually an extra maker video where I put it together, so, um, just wanted to show you that. See, I soldered all the pieces on and now this works. So what I can do is I can take this, I can plug a mini USB cable in and we can plug it in. And it lights up. And now this will work as a video game controller. So here, let me show you. We'll go to our games here. This is the video game controller test. Now, the reason I'm showing you all this is some of you be like, might be like, look, Captain, I know this. You've showed me this before. But I want to let you know, I have upgraded the code that goes to the controllers. So things are, they work a little bit better now. So what does that mean? I mean, it works, it works differently. So on the video game controller, here's where our advanced lesson comes in. If you use when up arrow key pressed, down arrow key pressed, right arrow key pressed, and then A and Z, you're going to get this behavior where when you press the button, see? So it moves the sprite around but the first time it happens, it's like when you hold down the keyboard. When you press the button, there it presses once, it delays, and then it fires rapidly. Right? Now, this is not how most video games work, right? When you press the right button, Mario doesn't take one step pause and then runs off, right? what happens is when you press the button, there's just a smooth run. But this will work for our controller test because basically this is here just to make sure all of your buttons are working correctly, right? Because when you're wiring them up in this stage, it's hard to know if you have everything wired up correctly. So what I have done is I have changed the it used to be more smooth working with this. It used to be if you pressed right, it would be it would not take the one step and go. But I changed the code for that to function that way. But why would I do something that makes it less good? It's so that the rest of the games work better. Um, so here is Space Battle. This is my example game. Let's look inside here. So you can see that I have I've changed my this is the sprite here. Um, so instead of doing when instead of using these blocks, the when like an arrow key or when A is pressed, when B is pressed, when space is pressed, I don't use this anymore. Instead, I use a forever loop, 
when green flag clicked forever if down arrow key pressed change the position okay if down arrow key pressed point in direction and move so why well let's take a look you can see that now the the ship is like much more smooth and much more responsive okay it's now obviously slower going backwards but the keys there's there's not that stutter step it works a lot better and also you can you then use this controller um, when it works this way with the new code will allow it to be used as like a Minecraft controller and things like that. The previous code didn't let it work as like a Minecraft controller. Okay, so where's where's the coding in all of this? Well, let me tell you. I have here a number of circuit boards, okay? A number of circuit boards that I can turn into other video game controllers. And I'm excited to do that um, with your help. I want to teach you guys how to solder and stuff like that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say the person who can send me the best video game controller game will win a free pirate controller made by you and me. Okay. So the person who builds the best video game controller game will win a free pirate controller made by you and me. So how do you build a video game controller game? I will show you. So you go to mrcorvia.com, okay, and click on games here. This is, so, and then there are the web games. These are the games that you can play in Mr. and Corvia's class when you are done with everything else. But over here are some games that work with the build your own video game controller, okay? Um, most of these are scratch games. I did put the one Holiday Thief. This was a game that we were working on. Let's see. Okay, so here is... Oh, it's got sound. This was a very so. I thought this this game is so good. I thought it was a if a flash game, but really it is a. Uh, this is somebody built this in scratch, so I can play this with with this controller now. Well, not well. Okay, well, I'm not going to play this video game for this lesson, but it does work for it. So what I want you to do is build your own game. Go to the build your own video game controller test, and this is going to show you these are all your game has to work with these keys. It uses the arrow keys to move or whatever you want. It uses the arrow keys the A button and the Z button. Now you can test this out on your keyboard by pressing the arrow keys or A or Z, okay? But whatever game you build, it uses these controllers. It, you can build a, a tank game, you can build a basketball game, a soccer game, you can build a game where you walk your dog around the park or deliver newspapers or bake a cupcake. Whatever game you build, use these buttons and only these buttons. You can't use spacebar. You can't press J or P. Only the arrow keys, A and Z. That's it. That's all you get. If you do that in Scratch, then your game will work with the build your own video game controller. Okay? And what you do then is you will email me. You'd be like, hey, Captain, look, here is my game that I made. And I will check it out. And if your game is my favorite, my favorite, then you will make one of these together. Okay? And then you can have it and play your game with it. But 
all the games that get sent to me, what I will do is I will put them up on mrincorvia.com. So we will go, um, so your game, I can put it right here. You can see that I have Shoot the Balls by Noah and Cat Mouse Chase by Daniel. Those guys built games um, for the controllers last year and they put them here. So if you build one, I can have uh, one of your games right here, okay? So that will be super exciting. Um, I have a couple minutes left, so I'm gonna go really advanced lesson and I'm going to uh, change up a game that I was working on. I was So I built this video game controller test, right? Um, and then here is Space Battle by Captain. This was my game. And you know, Space Battle by Captain got a lot easier. I mean, like, the smooth controls make this game a, a lot better. Okay? So there's Space Battle, but I was building a third game with everyone over the last spring when we were uh, online. And that is, if you go to Scratch Examples, there is Driving Game right here. So if we go to the driving game, hold on a second. Okay, okay, cool. So if you go to this this driving game, so driving game blocks, right there, this will take you to Radical Race. Okay, arrow keys, right? Z key for high gear, A for low gear drive as fast as you can so this should work with the video game controller here so the idea was that you drive back and forth and you have trees come you can go in high gear everything goes faster uh, sometimes the road turns there it goes and then that makes you swerve so you try not to get hit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, re but you can see how the control is not good. I press it and it does that stutter step, right? That's not what we want. So we want to change it so it's more smooth, okay? Okay. So that will be, oh, and crash. Okay, so I'm going to go inside and so here this is my what i need to change to make it a little more smooth so i need to grab some ifs if um right arrow key pressed and then we're going to grab this and then I'm going to duplicate this if left arrow key pressed throw those blocks away and we'll put those in here okay now we can get rid of those blocks and we can put these guys underneath our There we go, inside our big giant forever loop. When I receive start game. Okay, now, it should be way too fast. Yeah, so our car is too nimble. Too nimble. All right. Um, so we want to decrease the number of steps it can move. So let's change it to like five how's that all right okay that feels a little better that feels a little better let's wait for it to turn that will be a good test yeah there we go see it's harder to turn into the turn there we go okay so i fixed that all right, I'll finish this game up, and we will. Uh, what we need to do is add cars that go down. 
Okay, so that is radical race. So I'll work on that later. Okay, guys, this was a lot of fun. I'm, this will go up on at one o'clock. It was great seeing you. I'll see you live tomorrow at one o'clock for Pirate Science. Okay, take care, boys and ladies and puppy pugs who might be watching this video. <laughs> take care.